Dear friends in Christ Jesus, in today's gospel, we hear a paradoxical statement from Jesus, offer no resistance to the wicked. Is Jesus advocating a type of passive resignation to what happens around? Are we to keep silence when evil doers and wicked minds create destruction and havoc in our society and in our lives? Neither Jesus nor the church would subscribe to such a fatalistic attitude. If so, how do we understand today's gospel reading? Let us go to the text of the scripture. Jesus starts with the ancient Hammurabi law of retaliation, which was prevalent in Israel too. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But from this well accepted code of contact, Jesus is making a shift. Do not retaliate. Jesus explains by giving three examples. First, showing the other cheek. For a person to slap someone on the other cheek, he will have to use the back of his palm. According to the Jewish rabbinic teaching, slapping with the back of the palm is the utmost insult to a person. Even at the cost of such a humiliation, do not retaliate. Second one is regarding the tunic. The tunic is a common daily dress which a person could have more than one. But a cloak is a blanket-like outer garment which a person may have only one. The scripture prohibits keeping the cloak as a pledge after sunset. We read in Exodus 22, 26 and 27, If ever you take your neighbor's cloak in pledge, you shall restore it to him before the sun goes down. Hence, Jesus tells that even during the times of legal injustice, do not take revenge. Third, walking an extra mile. It was a usual custom that the colonizer could force a citizen of the colonized nation to walk with him carrying food and other provisions. Jesus, taking this example, says, that when your oppressors compel you to do something, do something more with cheerfulness and with a good grace. Hence, Christians should be characterized not by tit for tat or by revenge or vengeance. Saint Paul in his letter to the Romans chapter 12 verse 19 says, Never avenge yourselves, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Christians, on the other hand, are characterized by doing good to the one who does evil. Jesus is thus bringing to our minds a subtle teaching in the Old Testament. We read in Proverbs chapter 24 verse 29, Do not say, I will do to him as he has done to me, or I will pay him back for what he has done. Again Proverbs 25 21 says, If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he is thirsty, give him water to drink. St. Paul, reflecting on it, would write in his letter to the Romans, chapter 12, Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. Let me conclude with an example from the scripture, that of King David. David was chased out of his land and was made to wander around, fearing for life by King Saul. In first book of Samuel, chapter 24, they encounter each other in a cave in the wilderness of Engedi. David was awake, but Saul was sleeping. The friends of David asked him to kill Saul and to have his revenge. But David refuses to do so. When Saul comes to know of it, he repents of his act and says, You are more righteous than I, for you have repaid me good for evil. This is the typical Christian response to evil and wickedness. Let our contact be characterized by doing good to those who do us evil too. Do not have vengeance or revenge. May the good Lord bless us all. 